It was one of the few left hooks he's been able to get in. Another left hook and a right hand by Garcia. And now, oh, Garcia forced to take a knee. Hey, what's up, guys? Nick Davenport, a.k.a. Mr. Mental Muscle. And I want to talk about the Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis fight. I know it happened about a week ago. And there's a lot of uproar how Ryan Garcia is just an Instagram boxer. Javante Davis showed him who's the boss. That's all fine and dandy. Some people question if Ryan Garcia has the mental toughness. Did he just give up? And some people saying that that shot to the body, is that it? That's all it took? They don't understand science because he got hit in the liver. Now, if you don't know, the liver is a very vital organ that we need to survive. Now, when you get hit in the liver, a lot of things happen. And I want to break down the physiological as well as psychological and neurological aspects of why a liver shot will make you fall like that. Because when you see it in real time, as you saw in the clip, it seems like he just sat down and gave up for no reason because the shot already happened and it was a few seconds later, it was a delayed response, but there's a reason for this. So let's look at the clip in real time. So from this angle, you can't really see it as well. He takes the knee, he goes down. So I'm gonna find the other angle. So now this angle is better. You can see it from C. So he hits him in the liver. Now he backs up, he's still like ready. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? He goes down to the ground. So you see how that happened. And that's where everyone made the, the case of why did he go down? Like what was really going on? Let's look at it from this angle. It's a little bit better. You can see it from the side. So you see it lands it right in the liver. Perfect flush against the liver. And I'm explain why this does what it does, the effect that it causes. He's still up and then it hits. And nope, he goes down on the knee. He can't get back up. It's done. Now, a lot of people, they look at it this as he gave up. He's not mentally strong enough to be at the big level with the big dogs. But this is what's happening. The liver, like I said, you need it to survive. It, it breaks down toxins. It, it helps funnel different nutrients throughout the body. It's a very important feature that you need. Like if you get liver failure, you can't live without it. A like kidney, you can live with one. Liver, you have to have that one or you die. So this is what happens. When you get hit period in a fight, whether it's the head, the liver, the chest, it's giving the direct force trauma to your body. Your body has things called nociceptors, which sends a signal to the brain to say, hey, this hurts. Ouch. Now, over time, you can adapt and be more resilient to these hits. Now, that's why they do sparring and different training to kind of condition themselves for it. But the problem is there's certain regions that are more susceptible. Now, the head seems obvious. You get hit a clean shot in the head, you go down, you're knocked out. But think about it. The signal to the brain, guess what? If you get hit in the head, the brain's already there. The signal gets there much faster. That's why that instant knockout happens. Now, going back to the liver, though, the liver's a little bit lower. The signal has to go up and then get to the brain. Now, the reason this happens is actually an evolutionary adaptation so you can rest and digest. If you heard of the term fight or flight, the stress response, people are very familiar with that. That gets you up and ready for action. Now, the that's the sympathetic nervous system. Now, the parasympathetic nervous system, this gets you calm back down the baseline, also known as rest and digest, so that brings you back down low to your homeostasis or your balance. Now, that's what happens. There's something called the vagus nerves. It runs from the head through the chest cavity down to the stomach. Now, if you ever heard of something called box breathing or mindful breathing, you slowly inhale hold, slowly exhale. This triggers that vagus nerve, which calms you down. It slows down the blood pressure, slows down the heart rate, calms you down back to baseline. And this is a good technique to do to be more mindful, done with meditation, to get you more relaxed because it makes you more resilient when you get to a stressful situation. Your autonomic nervous system, that gets you hyped. You want to bring it back down. So when you get hit in the liver, what it's doing is it's triggering that vagus nerve because when it gets hit, one side of that liver is going to get compressed. And it's going to send the jolt up to the brain and says, hey, go into rest and digest mode. So that's why the delayed response, as you saw when he got hit, didn't happen instantly. Now, by the time it did register, guess what? That sense of the brain said, calm down. Because typically when you do box breathing, it takes a few minutes to get that result. But since the liver is such a vital organ and it's hit with such force, it triggers that response much faster. And that's why he went down. You can argue, oh, he should have got back up. But if you've ever been hit there, even 
not as hard as Javante Davis did, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm not saying try this, but if it has ever happened, you know exactly what this feels like. And those who haven't, it's not a pleasant feeling. Your body is telling you to get down, lay flat, so everything can get back in order. That rest and digest, to calm you down, saying, shut everything down, guys. Calm down that breathing. Calm down the blood pressure. That's why he went down. So is this a case of mental toughness? In my experience working in sports psychology, working with hundreds of elite level athletes, I don't think so. Because think about it. He went that far in the fight. It's not like he just gave up in round one or two. So I would say, give the man a break. It's a fight sport. Someone has to lose. In this case, it was Ryan Garcia. So that being said, let's see a number two, run it back. And let's see if they can get their mind right.